Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. Here I actually have some more Indian, Native American Indian fire starter rocks. It's fire starter rocks on this side and heating rocks on this side. I have so many of them that it just takes me a while to go through them and find um, these artifacts to try to show you guys. This one here kind of looks like a bone of some kind that maybe that may have petrified. I mean, I I mean, I don't know if it is because it's got some uh, gold. What looks like gold in it could be pyrite, could be just about anything. But, so it's probably not a bone. But I can see that they use it as a fire starter rock because it's still got burnt stuff in it. It's burnt on the outside still, still showing the signs of it being in a fire. Quite a bit of a uh, pyrite in there. It looks like it's most likely not gold. Um, We'll set that one aside. And then we have another one here. This is a little one, but it, you can see it was used in a fire. It looks like it may be in a may have been a training tool. They actually have some scratches in here. They must have used it as a arrow pointing rock too. Um, but there's some. Uh, I mean, that could be a constellation in there too. Who knows? I don't. And that that looked like that was the main fire starting hole. Looked like it was a ch child training tool. Here we got another one here fire starting rock. It's got lots of holes in it. Lots of places they could have used to try to start the fires in. That looked like that may have been the main one. It was also used in the fire because you can see it still has some black left on it after many years of sitting in the sun and just baking. Here's also another fire starter rock. Could have been a child. It's a very small hole, but it was used as a heating rock too because it's got black all over it. This one here has kind of got a real shallow one in there. They may have, this may not be a fire starter rock. It may just be a rock that they use for warming because there is black right here and paint on it from where I lived in Glendale. It was in a yard that I picked this up from. That's what this is, regular household paint. This, it looks like they may have just made that into some kind of eyeball. They may not have used this as a fire starter, like I said. I just thought it was interesting that it had that nice little indentation in there. But maybe it's just an eyeball or something. I don't know. Like I said, this one was used as a heater rock. This one here looks like it may have been used as a fire starter. It's hard to say because that hole is awful big, but it could have been using for sharpening points because it's got some uh, deep in indentations in there. I think it was used for a fire rock to, to keep, it, you keep them warm because it looks like it may have been cooked in a fire. Hard to say. Also, this one here is very interesting. It's got a completely round hole that goes right through there. It goes right through the other side. I do believe it was a fire rock for a long time, and maybe it, it still may be used as a fire rock because it's still black at the time, but it's got that hole all the way through. So they could have used this as a weapon. It looks like they may have tied it in through this side and used it maybe for something to throw and, and like trip animals and... You know, whatever they call that, a bolo. I'm not exactly sure. I don't look that stuff up. I don't really care. I just kind of call it what I call it as what I see it. That looked like that may have been a fire starting hole in there. I mean, it could have been for sharpening uh, arrow, uh, not arrows, actually. Sticks. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, but it's pretty cool. It looks like an eyeball on this side. I mean, like I said, it could have been a weapon of some kind or, a you know, something like that. Here's another fire starting rock. They would have used that hole there to, to start it. And it looks like it's kind of blackened, but that could be just from the actual rock itself. But I do see black on top of here, so it was also, it definitely was a fire starting rock if it's got black on here, because they left it in the fire while it burned. And it looks like it's an eagle too, an eyeball here, and you got your beak nose and a little breathing area up there. This is a really nice representation of a fire rock. It's got a really deep hole in there. I can see black all over in it. Pretty cool. I mean, the outside has a black uh, to it, so they use that side too. Also paint on it from Glendale, where I used to live at that house. A lot of these rocks have that paint on it still. Here's a really big, it's a tomahawk, but it's also a fire starting rock. You can see the black on it where they cooked it in the fire. They started the fires probably most likely in that. 
still black left on it from the cooking. It was also some other type of a tool. You can see the chipping up here where they were using it. So it was a tomahawk, fire starter, maybe even an eagle looking thing, but it looked like it may have got broken off here. Again, paint on it from Glendale. Here is a heating rock. Again, blue and white paint or yellow, maybe off white paint over there, but this was a, a heating rock. Here's another heating rock. Then, then this one's got a lot of it still on there from them baking that and putting it under. Um, but you, they would probably want to use flat ones like this. Most of them you, you would hope to find would be flat. Like this is pretty flat. And it was also used as a cooking stone. But any of these stones are actually tomahawks too. They're not just a dual use, triple use, whatever they had a use for them. Here's a pretty cool one. It's got a little bitty... Really strange looking gold color uh, area right here where they, they rubbed it smooth. Maybe that was some place where they were holding their finger on it for something. But it doesn't look like they used it for chipping. But again, this looks like it was a fire rock. Although this looks natural, but this doesn't look natural. So th again, this was a fire rock. I mean, a, not a fire rock. I mean, a, I mean a warming tool. Here we got another warming tool here that's the shape of some kind of animal. Maybe an ear there, an eye, eye here, nose, mouth. Also uh, was used for keeping uh, somebody warm in the wintertime. Here we go, another uh, another rock, fire rock, it looks, or a warming stone that keeps keep them warm. Another flat warming stone that may had, they may have been making it into a, uh, a fire rock. Pretty nice representation. Also, here's another fire rock, some kind of animal shape too. On that side, it got a little chip in it. It was some kind of animal shape. Here is, I think this is a fire rock. It could be, yeah, well, I think it is a fire rock considering it looks like it's, it's just wearing off. That has the paint from Glendale again on it. This came from a house, backyard. This one here, I'm not exactly sure. I know it's some kind of a tomahawk and it looks like they used it as a warming uh, rock, it looks like it. They actually, this red is is not the natural color of this rock. They actually, a lot of these rocks that I got from Glendale, you can see they soaked it in some kind of dye or something that they made and it, absorb, it absorbed into the rock. Because you can see it looks, it looks like it sat in something and soaked. That's what it looks like to me. And I have other ones that look like the same way somewhere in my crap. But again, this one looked like it may have been in a heating stone that they would lay under there. And it's a tomahawk, too, and an animal, because they got it like an, a discoloration here for an animal. But it's a tomahawk. More Another dual purpose. Also here, this one here was uh, cooked in the fire. You can still see the black on it. And it's kind of flat. Also is a tomahawk. Pretty cool. This one, I'm not sure if this is a natural color. It, it's possible that this is natural. But if it not, it's another, uh, but another heating tool. This also, I don't know if it's natural. It's hard to tell. But if it is, it's it would be a nice, the nice one that I mean, if it's not natural, it'd be nice if it if it was uh, being used as a heater. This one here, I can't tell either. It, it almost looked like this is natural, but maybe not because there is some black. But I mean, that could be the natural color underneath there, and they still could have used this as a a warming because it is flat. There we go with the uh, blue and the white paint again. Basically, this is the different colors they painted the house over the years that these rocks sat in the backyard. And this is an un unusual one too. It's got a really nice cutout here, a little cutout there. It's also a tomahawk, but it also to me looks like it may have been used as a warming rock. And here are some over here that I'm not exactly sure if it's, they were warming rocks, this one, because it the black goes all the way through this one, but it could have been, and they still could have used it, because like it, it's black on this side, but it could have been heated after it was broke, and since it's smooth, flat, they could have used that for a warming one. Now, this is a little, little harder to tell. I know it's orange underneath. It's actually a bird head, too. I can't tell if this was used as a warming rock. I don't know if this is black or just dye that they put on it. I, I can't tell. And then another one over here. There again, the blue paint from the house. 
And this one, again, it's hard to tell. This could be natural because they like to pick up cool-looking rocks and, and make something out of them. And this is also a tomahawk. That's all I have for now. And like and subscribe. Thank you very much.